All right, what's going on everybody? So this is my Ubisoft 2015 E3 press conference review. I'm a big fan of Ubisoft. They make some of my favorite games, even though I think they are a bunch of screw ups a lot of the time. They're repeat offenders of false advertisement. They are milking a franchise to death and they have a bad track record of making PC versions of their games. They often end up being catastrophic. Even with all that, yes, they are one of my favorite third-party developers and make some of my favorite games. Um, they need to clean up their act, though. So, let's get into the press conference. They started off with South Park, The Fracture Butthole, a play on words, and I'm very excited they decided to make or publish a new South Park game. The previous game was actually made by Obsidian, I believe, and published by Ubisoft. This time, um, Ubisoft San Francisco, I believe they said, is making it. So yeah, Obsidian isn't making it anymore. Um, definitely, but I'm definitely glad they're making another one because South Park Stick of Truth, if you haven't played it, it's a very good game. It's a really underrated game. A lot of people didn't give it a chance because, oh, it's South Park. You know, no, they did a great job at it. And Matt Stone and Trey Parker came out and said that they just felt that they were, they really learned how to make a good game towards the end of uh, Stick of Truth. And Stick of Truth was, was really good in general, so they just wanted to give it another shot to make an even better game. So, South Park, great start. Um, then they moved on into For Honor. So For Honor, if you've ever played the PC game um, Chivalry, it's very similar. It seems to be a more fleshed out, more complete game than the, P than the PC game Chivalry. And they might do a better job at it. All of these games were pretty much in like alpha and pre-alpha. So you, you, you notice some hiccups and technical problems and things were a little bit messy, but they're in pre-alpha. So For Honor looks pretty good. It looks like the console version of Chivalry. The crew. The crew is complete garbage. I don't even know why they made DLC or any expansion for this game. Nobody, nobody bought this game. Nobody's still. Nobody in their right mind is still playing this game. The crew is complete trash. And if you remember, I was very excited for this game. I thought it would be a get the racing game. I was, I was, you know, really looking for. But I played the beta, and I even played a little bit of the full game. Didn't buy it happily, um, and it's complete garbage. Um, Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. Trials Fusion is a cool game. You know, it's a cool game to turn on, play for a little bit, turn off. It's one of those just quick thrills games. So, yeah, good good content so far besides the crew. Uh, the Division. Uh, let's get let's just get it out the way. Yes, the that that Division video they sh they showed us right there looks nothing like the Division video the world premiere of the division looks nothing like it um it the what they showed us before looks so clean in detail what they showed us just now that gameplay looks less defined it looks like there's a filter like a, like a dirt filter on the video it just doesn't look as clean as per and and pristine as an, an immaculate as the original video we saw so much detail and just oh my goodness it, the whole atmosphere and environment in the original video looked so much better um but i'm not going to speculate just yet if it's downgraded let's just wait till it come out because and they announced it's coming out march 8th here's my problem with that fall spring rather spring is the new fall in gaming pretty much all the hit games all these big triple-a titles are coming out spring 2016 i hope you don't got nothing to do because you know how usually when fall come around us gamers we're like yo i i don't know how i'm gonna handle all these games too many games what are we gonna do that's spring now and i think that's gonna be the trend from now on Right, because that just seems to, with the development time that games take, that seems to be the time where games are going to fall into spring. We got a lot of big games coming out spring 2016. It's going to be crazy. I'm not going to like it. Um, so yeah, it's coming out March 8th. Uh, next, they talked about Anno 2205, 2205. Don't really care for the game. Not concerned. Just Dance. You can kill me now. They really had a dancing segment with Jason Derulo. Don't care about Just Dance. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. 
I didn't. Get, I still haven't really gotten gotten to play Rainbow Six. I played Rainbow Six Siege once at E3. I never. I didn't get to play the alpha, so I don't really have a feel for the game. I'm definitely gonna buy it, but I don't really have a feel for the game. I can't really say if I like the game or not because I just haven't played enough gameplay of it. But Ubisoft's games like that, like I love Rainbow Six. I played many of the Rainbow Sixes in the past, and I've pretty much loved all of them. Um, this is a little bit different, you know, it's more tactical, and I love tactical gameplay, I love strategy, love tactical, um, so I just got, I just, but I still gotta see about this. Trackmania, honestly, that looks like it could be, like, Trials DLC, it looked like Trials with actual cars and a little bit more craziness and, uh, with the stunts and the tracks you go on, yeah, it looks like something, like I said, something to pick up real quick and put down after a little bit, so it looks interesting, um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, obviously that was the game I'm talking about that uh, Ubisoft is milking to death. I don't care about Assassin's Creed no more. That franchise, that series is completely irrelevant to me. I I don't. The last one I bought, and I didn't I didn't even buy it on release. The last one I bought was four. Didn't beat it. Um, I bought it during a Steam sale. So yeah, last one I played was four. The last one I beat, I don't even know. Um, yeah, so I don't care about Assassin's Creed anymore. Ghost and to top it off, Ghost Recon Wildlands. My one of my favorite games from last generation was Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Even though Ubisoft made a complete crap port of it to the PC, it was pretty much broken. But I didn't get it on PC, luckily. I got that on consoles, and I absolutely love the multiplayer. This is they claimed it to be open world, a real massive type game. Uh, this doesn't seem to have, I don't know, maybe it does, but it didn't, they didn't really show any PvP. They showed a co-op world where you uh, complete missions, you locate targets, and you complete objectives, and you have different ways of choosing to, uh, you know, handle each mission. There was stealth, and stealth is always my favorite. If you, if you give me a choice between stealth and anything else, I'm going to choose stealth. I like the challenge of that. I like to, you know, the challenge of keeping silent and just the enemy pretty much going through a mission and the enemy never knowing you were even there I, I i like that i get high off that you know that thrill um there was ambush and there was long range so great that they're giving you different ways to tackle the mission i'm definitely looking out of all the games there i would say yeah i'm i'm probably at this point i'm probably looking forward to ghost recon wildlands more than division because what they've showed us with the division um i don't know my, my my excitement level or, or my anticipation is kind of dwindling a little bit. I'm still looking forward to it. A lot of people um, were confused about the gameplay. They made it clear that The Division is more of a RPG than a shooter, right? Third person shooter. I, and I always knew that. That's not the reason why I'm like, my excitement for it is dwindling. It's just the advertisement for the game just seems to be more false advertisement that's what bothers me not the fact that it's more of an rpg than a third person shooter let's make that clear now yes it is an rpg because as you can see the gameplay uh the amount of you know you see the abilities and the communication and the amount of shots uh take it's not it's not an action third person shooter it's much more than that it gets way deeper so i'm still looking forward to it um you know, it's deeper than any, just a third-person shooter. So I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, but, you know, Ghost Recon Wildlands, that's looking pretty sexy until they trolled me with that game and kind of, you know, we, we learned some things about that game we're not too excited about because they're lying to us again. But overall, Ubis Ubisoft's conference was pretty solid. Uh, wasn't too many low points where I... And I wanted to cringe at the whole Just Dance part, but all the content besides the crew and Just Dance, uh, you know, it was pretty. It was pretty good. It was pretty consistent. Even the stuff that I'm not interested in, they make good con good games with good concepts. Uh, they just milk them too much, or it's usually like technical problems with Ubisoft games. the The content of their games and the concepts are actually good. So yeah, I the conference was pretty decent in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.